Hi everyone, so I made this video because a lot of people have asked me what technique I'm using in the salon that helps my client's hair go from super, super unhealthy to healthy in just a few washes using the OA Rebuilding Hair Bath. So these images are three images from my Instagram account at steph.mero where I documented a super overprocessed weft of hair that I received and showed how after one wash it changed and after two washes it changed. I didn't use any conditioner or styling products for these pictures. All I used was the OA Rebuilding Hair Bath and then let them air dry. So now I'm going to show you the technique that I use because it's really important in order to really see a rapid change. So here is the hair. Um, I'm here in the shower and I'm going to first just rinse it all the way with warm water. I try not to use water that's too hot because hair that's already damaged can get heat damage from hot water in the shower. So warm is important because otherwise it's going to be hard to clean and it's going to be hard to rinse out the shampoo, but you don't want to use really hot water. So I like to work the water through the hair and with everything that I'm doing, I'm always working in a direction that is in the same direction of the cuticle layers. So not going basically against the grain of the cuticle, but going with it. And the cuticle layers lay down in the direction that is away from the scalp. So in a downward motion going away from the scalp. I'm using the Rebuilding Hair Bath from OA. I like to shake the OA products first because they have a lot of botanical ingredients and they tend to separate. I take just one pump and instead of spreading it out into two hands, I put it right on the hair and start to massage it. This really helps to work up a really good lather and then you can spread it through the rest of your hair. So as you can see, I'm still working in a motion that's away from the scalp. If this hair was attached to someone's head, this would be working in a motion away from the scalp. And I like to just massage it gently. That helps work a lather. So at first you're going to see bubbles, but then the bubbles kind of go away. And I actually detangle with this hair bath. So it doesn't have, you know, a crazy lather that doesn't go away. It kind of just mellows down on its own. This hair is severely, severely damaged. So I'm not expecting to see it actually form curls or spirals because the actual internal structure of the hair has permanent damage. But what the hair bath is going to help it do is start to actually clump again. It's gonna actually be able to retain moisture and shine, whereas before it was just a super dry, frizzy mess. And I don't know if you noticed this from the pictures, but with each wash, the color of the uh, weft of hair actually appears darker, and that's because with moisture retention, you also get a deeper appearance in color. I like to make the comparison to like if you had a pink sponge and when it's damp versus dry, the difference in the color of that deep of that pink sponge. So hair is most like a sponge. It's more like a sponge than anything else. If you're going to compare it to a different material, it swells when it absorbs water, it shrinks as it releases water. Um, and it's harder to break when it's got moisture in it. So I'm just working it through. The best word I could use to describe how I work it through is really just, you know, stroking through with my palms or my fingers. When I go through with my hands as a rake, I like to squeeze my fingers together to also massage the hair and then give it a good rinse. I always rinse with warm first to make sure all the shampoo gets out. If you've ever tried to rinse dirty dishes with cold water, the dirt just sits there. So even if you're using soap, so you do want to definitely rinse with warm. And then I'm rinsing it with cold water. So some people really can't handle this. Um, it's not necessary. It's not going to close the cuticle because water actually actively opens the cuticle. But what it can do is help the internal bonds of the hair kind of tighten up. Um, the internal bonds are called hydrogen bonds. Heat and water cause them to get farther away from each other. And uh, when they become fully dry and when they get cold, they shrink. So it actually has nothing to do with the cuticle. The reason that a lot of people think the cold water makes the cuticle close is their hair feels really soft with cold water. That's just because it's leaving the conditioner in if they used conditioner. 
So again, I did not use conditioner on this weft of hair. The point was to demonstrate the rebuilding hair bath alone, the difference that it makes. Um, it is the really crucial step in the healing process. If you're not using a treatment-based shampoo and you're just using whatever, and then you're using uh, stylers or masks that are supposed to be a treatment, it's kind of like trying to skip over to your post-diet clothes without actually doing the diet first. So make sure you get your diet right first. Please check out the guide at the bottom of this video in the description. If you don't have damage, there's a, a lot of other OA treatment-based hair baths to help with all different conditions. And I really hope that this helps. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon. Love you.